in this video we are discussing generating data pattern overview so in this case the data will not be read from the sdfs it will be generated by some random functions and as a result of that we will be getting the virtual data set virtual input splits and so on sometimes this particular design pattern can also be used when we are having a small data set we can put some newly generated data to make it a huge data set so inclusion of this dummy records within that small data set will become a huge data set for the operation so let us discuss more on this design pattern so what is generating data pattern so this pattern does not take the input from sdfs it creates data from the scratch so it is not reading its data from the sdfs and it is creating data from the very scratch using some random function generations so generating random data is used in different cases and one of the use of is that to build some sort of representative data set to convert the actual small data set to a large one so here we are having few number of records in a small data set we can put such new data sets from the scratch using some random functions and with the help of which we are going to get a healthy long data set so the task is not so easy to implement in the hadoop map reduce framework and as there are no input split or records so we need to fool the framework to think there are splits are there and so many records are there so actually we are creating a virtual data set virtual input splits on which the map reduce tasks can easily work so here this is the diagram with the help of which we can discuss that is generating data pattern so here we are having the virtual input splits that means so here the data have got form from the very scratch there was no physically existing or pre existing data sets so that data set is a huge one so we are having multiple input splits so virtual input splits we are having multiple such then we are having the record reader which will be reading this records from the virtual input splits then we are having the identity mapper and using this identity mapper we can put some business logic in the mapper and the mapper will work accordingly and it will produce the respective output parts so you can find that this is the generic a diagram with the help of which we have discussed the concept of generating data pattern overview in the next videos we'll be discussing lots on this particular concepts please watch all of them and thanks for watching this